Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Minecraft on the Stone Legion modded server. And uh, if you guys want to join us, check the link in the description. So, uh, I'm here, and don't come chasing me at my property. <laughs> I should add that all in the time. It's like, come join us, but don't even go near my house. Uh, so, I don't know when I did this. I placed a bunch of trees, uh, the apple trees, and some torches. I did a wee bit of mining. I haven't really done anything, honestly. Just grabbed some basic resources. Um... I kind of was waiting for you guys, and I got busy talking to uh, everyone on TeamSpeak, and, you know, I get distracted easily, but that's fine. That's all the fun. This is like an AFK HUD I had. There was some stuff at the front before. So, uh, I wanted to check a couple mods out. Today, we're going to work on um, uh, Tinker's Construct, and I want to show you something. I, wanted, I had to get clay, and I know guys were using this back in the day. I never actually bothered trying this. I just never even bothered, you know, going deep underground. But you guys probably see me in the past if you've watched my Let's Play series, how crappy I am at, you know, mining and diving and, you know, doing stupid stuff. But anyways, I can't find any clay here. But the idea here is you just place this and you can use this to breathe. Boom, boom. Um, just a little mechanic that people have been using for as far as I know ever in vanilla Minecraft. It's kind of a, a little cute clever idea. Just wanted to share it with you. Um, so uh, let's get started. I wanted to actually look at a mod called Chisel and Chisel has well we have two Chisel mods. I want to build the vanilla Chisel here but there's there's uh, actually I need iron so maybe I won't build that right now but there's a bunch of chisels you can make which is interesting. Um, because there's another mod of chisels, but, uh, there's even a flux chisel. That's kind of cool. Bedrockium. A steam powered chisel. It's kind of cute. Uh, so I won't make that right now just because I need iron. I can't even afford iron <laughs> right now. Uh, I don't think we have four, uh, four iron, so that's fine. Um, let's work on the Tinker's Construct, but it's something I'm looking into. Uh, I was thinking, because you remember we had the, uh, we have the uh, marble over here. I might as well just show you quickly. Just go for a little speed run here. I have the big chunk of marble here. Oh, did I pass it? I don't. Th I think I passed it like an idiot. Sorry. But you remember I had the marble with the tree. You probably only remember the tree because the tree was pretty attractive looking underground. It was like, ooh, this is cool. Yeah, so this is marble. And you can't harvest. Uh, oh, you can harvest it with this, but you can't harvest. It says harvest no. It's kind of cool up there. So, uh, yeah, you can do it with iron, and it mines really fast. It would be better with using, like, a hammer or whatever. But I was thinking maybe I'll use that instead of um, instead of uh, whatever I was planning to use. I had no plans anyways, but if I use chisel and I hit R on this, you can use this chisel mod. Now, I've never used it before, so it'll be fun to try it out. But the idea here is you can change it to any of these shapes, uh, which is really, really cool. So you can check out all these different, you know, marbles, etc. Um, and I thought that would be so cool to, you know, give that a try later on. So uh, let's get started here. So um, I'm just eating apples. Why not? Let's get ourselves some clay and all that fun stuff here. Uh, so we're going to need gravel. We're going to need the clay. And I feel like we're going to need something else, but uh, I'm probably forgetting it. Clay, right? And gravel. And sand. Ooh, you know what? I don't think I have much sand. I haven't I didn't even think of needing sand to be honest. So that's fine. I actually have a shovel recently I made. So are we at 64 yet? I was thinking eventually I'd probably flatten this down to 64 anyways. But yeah, I'm really excited for tankers because this is one we can start. You know. You know, processing our ores double basically, but at the same time, I'm more excited about just it's fun doing tankers. It's something that you know, honestly, should be part of vanilla at this point. It's a it's a good idea. It's one of the few mods that actually has really good common sense in a way to making vanilla a little more enjoyable. Even the idea of like find enchanting in Minecraft a little too eh, silly. I feel like almost enchanting, I know some people would punch me in the face, and they overhauled enchanting, if you call that an overhaul. But I would almost think that enchanting should go, and they should use something more like tinker-based, like materials and metals and things like that, to, you know, 
advance it different. That's what we do in real life. We don't sit there and go, abracadabra. We we actually do something with it, and you know, use new metals and you know, uh, fabrics and stuff like that for whatever you know it is. And uh, I think that would be kind of cool. But that's that's my opinion. My opinion usually doesn't matter. So uh, just hitting W while I'm clicking those in there. So we're going to create this thing called grout. Don't get all grouty with me. We could probably create another uh, furnace here. There we go. And oh, we're going to need something for it. So I notice you get the burn time on the log was 300, the burn time on a wood plank is 300, and the burn time on this is 100. So that's 600 there, but 400 in total there. So planks seem to be the best uh, burning substance in the uh, in that sense in the game. Um, when it, well, like I shouldn't say best. Of course it's not the best, but you know what I mean for what I'm doing here. Uh, I, I got coal I could have used, but I don't care. This is this is so easy and okay to do. So I'm going to let that do its thing. And uh, we're going to just kind of do this out in the open, honestly. I'm not going to do anything too special. Um, we're going to end up putting things inside, and it won't be like... I'm going to try not doing like 20 episodes later. We're moving inside. I want to try to do that a little sooner than later. But, uh, you know, we're, I'm no rush. And... Uh, I want to build some what of a towering something by the the water, or that's my goal, anyways. All these apples, these trees are great for those apples, that's for sure. There we go. <laughs> it's raining apples. We're supposed to say hallelujah. Huh, clover. I guess they're random in the biome too. I was wondering if it was somehow the tree spreading it, but I don't think so. And if you guys didn't know, I think I said this the first episode, but if I didn't, I uh, I have fast leaf render on just because you'll it's like the n biggest improvement on FPS. You guys know I don't even really need to do that that much, but every little bit helps. Even though I have it capped at a hundred, my FPS is capped at a hundred. You guys need to know that by the way, um, because uh, some people might be like, "Whoa!" Back in the day, I used to uncap it in a sense, hey, you know, like five hundred, whatever, cool, but um, six hundred. I just cap it at 100, no need to overdo it there. Um, but it fluctuates, even though you saw I get 500. It kind of tries, it kind of sits there funny sometimes. Like, you can see it just bugged out there. Uh, that's interesting that it just bugged out there. Isn't that interesting? Ha! <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's determined to be a prick there. Isn't that weird? That's just how it works. It's like an, that's why I do it at 100 instead of, say, 60 or something, because you still feel it anyways. You don't maybe... Well, you see it, because you, you can see the stuttering in a way, but, uh, yeah. It's just weird. That's Minecraft for you, I guess. It's actually probably not even as much as Minecraft. It's the rendering. It's OpenGL and things like that, but whatever. Nothing that I'm not used to. Nice, I got reeds. Reeds are useful for later on too, so well, let's go ahead and do something. So I just sit here and run around and, and eat these nonstop. They they do a pretty am good amount of health too. Um, is there any good food we could use this for? Can make cake, can make the golden apples. Not going to ever do the golden apples, but maybe down the road I'll get so rich where I'll just do golden apples because like, hey, I'm rich, man. I eat golden apples for fun. Oh, you could do like a fruit salad. That's kind of cute. You could do this apple juice, huh? 
curious to see how much that does, because you could stack... Oh, Wormy Apple. I don't know if that does much. I think it just poisons you. Caramel Apples, Fruit Salad again. Apple Jam. Uh, apple Slices, Kitchen Mod. <laughs> apple Ice Cream. Oh, you can make vanilla ice cream. Health Syringe. <laughs> Interesting. And Shapeless. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, we should make this. That's awesome one. Okay, I'll show you what that one is. You guys will love this thing. So let's go ahead and let's get this put back here. We're just doing this so they'll expand over time just so we can get more and more. You guys will love this because we always have cobblestone. We're always, uh, you know, mining and stuff. This is such a brilliant little thing. Um, I think I actually installed that as a separate mod or is it part of a mod? I forget. No, it's part of open... Blocks, I think. But anyways, let's do this. It's a, yeah, open blocks. Basically, you take your cobblestone and you you shift-click this in a way, like sort of like this. You put this in here. And this is your cobblestone, uh, you know, n n uh, void, whatever, null thing. So when you get a stack of cobblestone, um, oh, that's cool. Oh, that was maybe, that was weird. Anyways, when you get a stack of cobblestone, uh, it will start nulling it. So it'll keep a stack, but you can also use it to place a stack. And when you pick, you know, pick it up, it goes in this little item. It's such a wonderful little thing. It just keeps things easy in a way. It just I don't have to deal with it. It'll automatically uh, null all of my cobblestone. So it's like it's kind of hacks in a in a useful not o that you know not overpowering way to micromanage your inventory a little better. Which I love, so definitely check that out. Um, okay, so let's do this. Tinker's Construct. So we got some seared bricks before, but to make seared bricks is just what we've been doing. Clay, sand, and gravel, and there's a seared brick. Um, but of course, we went ahead and raided one village uh, of seared brick. Now, I'll need more of this over time, but I didn't want to be greedy or anything. And let's go ahead and we'll do it on the beachfront here, but we want to do three down. And then there we go, three down. And then we go ahead and I'll need to access that stuff, so I'll put one here, I guess. There you go. Jump. It's like jump, 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 jump. Everybody. We'll just do that for fun. Ah, there you go. Oh, did I not do one for? Oh yeah, I brought that up, so I could have just done this. But instead, I just want to make my life a little more tougher. Oops. There you go. Oh no. Oh, that makes life easier there. Did the other one drop, or is it up there? No, it dropped. Good. Okay, so this is our Tinker's uh, Smeltery. And so we're going to improve this, of course, with uh, this wonderful stuff with the seared brick a bit more. we got to build a couple things that we need for it. So you can go mod, and you can go... If you don't know about this, I like to make these in a bit of a, you know... Not really a tutorial series, but I like to share my experience and know-how. So I just tell you, if you uh, shift click a mod from that, it'll just list it here and you can see the name. So we need a seared tank is one of the biggest things, but unfortunately we need sand, which is not an issue. We just need to get some and look at that, it just came up in time. And this wonderful thing will be armored zombie burned to death. <laughs> we gotta get those messages going. Uh, there we go. And we'll go ahead with this. And we'll shift click this, and there you go, seared tank. And uh, we'll go ahead and put this puppy there. Perfect. So, uh, the next thing we want to do is the controller. Is it up one? Yeah, here it is, small tree controller. And you just go ahead and create that. And then the next one after that is small tree drain. Now, this one won't clear it out, but there you go. And uh, you can go ahead and make as many as you want. I'm going to go ahead and make three just for old time's sake in a way and uh, yeah and then you need your base and things like that so let's get these oh I forgot I should have kept these kind of open now I think about it there 
So yeah, so here you go. You put this on the ground. And boom, boom. Oh, derp. I thought the other ones came down, but those just shifted over, I think. Got trolled. Okay. Oh, it glitched out with uh, inventory tweaks. That happens all the time. There you go. And then, uh, oh yeah, we need our little spouters. I forgot about those. It's good I didn't go insane and build something I didn't... Oh, there we go. Uh, there they are. One, two, three. And boom, boom, boom. Perfect. And then uh, the basins. Now we have basin. We have a table. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and make, say, uh, the one table... And then I'll go make a basin. I'll make one more basin. I might even have three basins, five basins. It doesn't matter. You you can, ex of course, expand this as much as you want. I think you can even expand them up and down. So you could have multiple levels attached to this. So you could have them up there, even when those are down there, I think. You could play around with that. Probably never make mine that big, but you can if you're crazy enough to. So I need iron or a bucket. I need a bucket, but let's see. Maybe there's a bucket uh, recipe now, a better bucket recipe. I don't know doesn't look like there's a bucket recipe that's fine um there's multiple types of buckets too i think not really actually cool that's fine I, I don't really need it i just thought you know um so we need iron of course oh yeah i found this iridium ore in a chest that's kind of cool we did that together last time i think we found that so that's it's kind of cool on us uh one two three so we'll go ahead and do this uh actually you know what this is a waste of time but i'm gonna do it anyways uh, there's a mod called Applied Energistics, which everyone uses this day and age, but it has a, f a little basic early start game type idea here, and it's a kind of adorable. That's part of it. Let's get some wood. I think I'm going to need cobblestone too, but let's get some... Oh, I saw the wood there. That's not going to be enough. I have a bunch of sticks in here. Did I burn them or something, knowing me? My inventories are starting to get confusing and messy and whatever. Now let's go ahead and go like this, because I think it's all made out of... Oh, you know what? It's going to be made out of quartz, isn't it? It's going to be trolling us here. Oh, well. Pretty sure it's going to be made out of quartz of some sort, so this might not work out. So I might not have enough. Oh, uh, here is quartz grinding stone. Ah, I knew you would troll me. I'm off by like one quartz. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nether quartz. Oh, oh. Can I be nether quartz, I think? Let's see, let's see. Yes. Okay, we need this thing here. A little gear of some sort. Build craft gear. It'd have its own replacement. And uh, what was this? What? That's oh, it's smooth stone, cobblestone, and smooth stone. See, there's no winning in these mods. Do do do. This is worth showing. So I mean, we'll we'll wait. It's not a big deal because honestly, I don't care. It's so little bit of iron, but I want to show you this because a lot of people like this. People have trouble getting iron or whatever resources or limited time, whatever. I don't, it's whatever excuse. It's not, you know, whatever. Um, you can make a grinding stone. I'm going to say whatever a couple more times. By the way, that's a feature that we use with any eye, one of the add ons or whatever. Uh, you can shift click this and it'll build the recipe. So it's smooth stone, the gear. Uh, quartz, either overworld ones or the nether one, the certus ones or the nether. And you can create this little lovely thing. Put this on here. So, remember I needed three iron? Well, I was going to waste it, right? Well, I could place this on here and place this in here. And you can just right click this little lovely thing. And you could stop for a second, but it, has to, it goes all the way around if you wanted to do that. But you just right click this a bunch of times and it will pulverize the iron like in a. a, a you know, pulverizer or grinder or macerator, whatever the mod is and whatever they want to call it. It works really well. So you want to be careful here because if you keep right clicking it too many times when it finishes, it will break the stick like now. So you want to stop now. There you go. So 
we have now doubled our iron. Cool, huh? Just a little, you know, little cute little handy, you know, thing to do with that. We got not really better. What? What was that? I got to figure out what that just said. Not really. I don't think I spelled achievement right, but whatever. Not really better than iron, just useless made. Okay, um, okay. Oh yeah, we were getting iron. Why were we getting iron? Iron blah or iron buckets. Um, you know, there is a tank. So, can the tank be moved by the way, Electra? Or drum? So, there's a drum. How do you drain the liquid? I think you have to pump it out. Oh, that's expensive. You know what? We'll do the tank. Uh, the other tank. I'll make. Maybe I'll make it. I like this one here. It's a basic portable one here. So copper, yeah, this should be easy to do. Um, we have the glass. We could do this, why not? Oh, we got copper ingot anyways. It's gonna start, you know, doing this crap, but you don't have to. There you go. And watch this not even require this. Oh yeah, there it goes. Invar. I don't have the invar stuff yet. I'll leave that, but there you go. So I think you're gonna need some kind of hammer. Crescent hammer? Cress crescent. An ingot. And I used all my iron. No, oh, no. And that's not, that's tin or something. <laughs> I needed three too. Exactly, you know, the mount. Night, night. Uh, exactly the three I needed. Oh well, that's fine. So, um. So you just throw this puppy in here and you go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. And go ahead and do do. And then do do. <laughs> and then that should work. Because you need to pick it up, so better to pick it up like this. And then uh, piece of iron, piece of iron. And uh, oh, yeah, you need a piece of tin, but I feel like we had tin.
Got to make the hammer. <laughs> Ah, uh, there we go. Do 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 do. So there is lava around here. What we're looking for is a lava source, but there should be some. I remember seeing it. I don't know where. Ah, uh, here it is. But I remember seeing some. And uh, there you go. Just right click this little cute tank. Ah, would it be better if I move these over, huh? <laughs> Stop fighting with them every time. There you go. The tank is full. Let's see if it still does that. No, it doesn't anymore. I think what time it overflown. So if you don't break this with, say, this, it would well, be a bit messy. So we keep those ones with us so they're even extra lava buckets that we can take. And this is nice having an above ground lava pool. If, if you think of it when you're building and you're in like plains biome and you, you see lava there and you're like, ooh, I don't want to be near that. Be near it. You'll use it. Trust me. Um, it's handy for when you start out. So here what I would do normally is I would pipe this in here except uh, we don't have pipes a second but we could put that in there and there you go we we can now do whatever we want so I think as you saw we use a lot of iron so we could take the iron for example and just click this smeltery controller dump the iron in there and you can see there's actually more room in there and this my friends will start uh, smelting it and it will double your ore so there was 22 in there by the time we're done this we're gonna get 44 of them how beautiful is that you can't really say no to that um, when we built this, we didn't get our small tree book. Interesting. Usually the first time you do this, it might be because I didn't build my first seer. I did create one, though. I don't know. I can't explain it. But uh, there is a book. It is broken, I think, maybe because we're using Optifine, or it could be another reason. Uh, just one of the young ladies... Uh, that play our server she said to me that there looks to be a bug with the book unfortunately so um you can build it with this blank pattern oh you know what it's probably when we build the tables and stuff like that okay um we'll get there eventually that'll be the next episode i was actually surprised we kind of went through this episode pretty quickly anyways uh you know what i'm gonna change my video settings i think we're not gonna have rain showing anymore um basically what i'm gonna do if this works, is I want to turn off rain, but I want off, but I think it still shows, yeah, okay, so it's still raining technically, but it turns every those off, and then I'll do uh, animations, and rain splash off, there you go. So the idea is it's still raining, but we don't have to look at it, we don't need to see it. Um, so it's kind of a little easier on us for performance reasons. If we want to know if it's raining, we just look up and it's like, okay, it's you don't see the stars, you don't see a moon or sun like that. Um, you know it's raining out. So there you go. It's a little bit of a performance optimization nuisance as well. Um, so you can see Optifine causes a bit of texture jumping, which hopefully won't bother you guys. Uh, the performance outweighs the nuisance. So you got 44 iron ingots in total now here. So we can pour these lovely guys out of here, and they will turn into iron blocks. So now this thing lags. Uh, you won't see it here because we got lots of FPS, but these are known to lag when they pour <laughs> like crazy. There you go. 9, 18, 27, 36. Making sure I'm not overdoing it. There you go. You got eight. So, of course, you know, pouring it out would be a bad idea now because we wouldn't get it all. Now, do we have a bunch of more iron that I can show you it with? And Oh, yeah, I have more iron. So, here, I'll just pour out one, and you'll see. We'll put this in here. And, of course, this is a bad idea because we won't get all our iron out now. Now, that, that little derping there, that's always happened where it goes on and off kind of looking. But it's like, oh, crap, that's it. We don't get any more. 
but uh, it stays hot. It doesn't like half cool and break or you know axe up or anything like that. Um, and if you get up here high enough, let's see if we can get up here. You can see the iron right there. Just you see the blocks. It's kind of cute. And uh, yeah, and then we can pour just the last ingot in there, and we'll get it. And we get block form, and since we're not using Greg Tech or anything horrible like that, we can clearly uncraft the block to ingots or ingots into blocks, and you don't have to worry about anything else. So that works just as fine. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, we will continue next time. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time.